so today we did a Khloe Kardashian look on myself, clearly not on Ash. <laughs> um, and it took us around 20 minutes to do it, hair and makeup. Maybe half an hour. Yeah, half an hour. Um, and the products that we used in it was... We used some of the stuff that we've just recently bought and we're going to review for you. Mm -hmm. But one of the things is the... Um, the Insta Blur All in One Primer from the Body Shop, which I actually really like. It's um, it goes on really smooth, and we're just about to photograph it to see how how it stands up with flash photography. But so far, we really like it. Mm -hmm. um, we used the Smashbox 24 Hour uh, Eyeshadow Eyeshadow Base, and um, I actually really like that too. It's really nice and thick, and it almost has a kind of pinky iridescent undertone to it. Uh, but I really like it and I use it on myself yesterday and my shadow stayed on literally till the night time till I wash it off So we're really liking that. We also use the NARS matte multiple in Extumus, which is like the pinky blushy color So what I did you'll see in the video is I just popped it on Jamie's cheeks when I was contouring her face and just blended it in with the brush and that was really good for that and the final thing that we use that we've just recently bought is this new Stila Stay All Day Bronzer in the shade medium. Um, it's a matte bronzer. It's it's not special. It's nothing different to anything else. So it's it's just a nice matte bronzer. So yeah, we use that to tell you about it. So there you go. So if you like Jamie's look with the easy curls and the um, Khloe Kardashian inspired makeup, keep watching. Keep watching. <laughs> Okay, so as always, I'm starting with Savannah Organic Pore Pore Lotion. Because we're doing a dark lip, we want it to be nice and hydrated so it doesn't look flaky or horrible in any way. I've already done the foundation before, so I'm just gonna start off warming up Jamie's skin and doing that nice contour that the Kardashians have as a signature look. And I'm taking NARS Matte Multiple and I'm just going underneath the cheekbones, around the forehead and under the jawline and all the little bits down the center of the face that you need to darken. I'm also taking a matte multiple um, in the blushy sort of color and popping that on the cheeks. I'm just gonna blend that all in. So this is the easiest way to contour, especially over foundation, because you can't really make a mistake, you're just gonna blend it all in. So next for eyebrows, I'm just going in and filling out Jamie's eyebrows and making them a little bit thicker, uh, like Khloe Kardashian's are, and I'm doing that with a brow powder. I just want to use like a nice ashy sort of toned brow powder. So these girls have amazing brows and I'm just going to sculpt out the underneath of Jamie's brows with a light concealer and when you do this, you just want to make sure that you blend out that concealer afterwards. You really don't want a white line under there. It's not attractive at all. So the next step is to prime the eyes. I like to do that with my finger because I just find that it smooths the product out and warms it up at the same time. It's a much better application for me. So now it's on to lid base color and I'm just taking the Ilamasca Sculpting Duo, I'm taking the highlighter shade out of that palette, I'm just working it all over the lid up to the crease. I'm taking the sculpting color and just going into the crease and into the outer V, just warming that section up. This is the Ben Nye Contour 2 powder. I'm just taking that to just darken up what I've done underneath with the sculpting powder, just in the crease and the outer V and running that along the underneath of the eye. And of course, blend, blend, blend. The next step is I'm just going to line the inner and upper water lines with a black coal pencil. Chloe Kardashian's been rocking this look a lot lately and I really love it on her. It's a very strong look and it's just an awesome look, love it. And as always, mascara, and as you know, Jamie's got beautiful eyelashes, so here would be the time to add lashes. Next. 
Next is to highlight under the eyes. Um, obviously they're really big on highlighting, so I'm just going to use a lighter concealer than I usually would under the eye, just to give it that highlighted effect. Then I'm also gonna run that down the center of the nose, on the chin, and just along the forehead there. So now it's time for lips. I'm taking Max current lip pencil and I'm just gonna go around Jamie's lips and make them as full as I can because Chloe's got amazingly full lips. Um, so I'm just gonna line outside of the lip more than what I usually would for a lip liner. Just, it gives it a beautiful effect. And especially with these dark colors, you can really get away with outlining your lips further than what you usually would. So here I'm taking Studio Sculpt Concealer and I'm going to carve out Jamie's lips and I'm using a foundation brush just to give it a really nice sharp effect. So here I'm taking a Rimmel lipstick and I'm just going to fill that in. Just for the last extra little pop I'm going to take OCC Lip Tar in Black Dahlia which is such an amazing colour. So I'm going to warm up the face a little bit more here with a bronzer. This is the Stiller Matte Bronzer. I'd prefer a matte bronzer if you're going to go over the areas where you've contoured. And finally, we're going to take some powder and just set that face. We want it beautiful and flawless and no shine. We just want it to look Kardashian style. There you have it, the finished product. Don't be afraid to try dark colors on your lips. It's really everywhere at the moment and it's not that hard to pull off. And as I said, if you've got fine lips, just overdraw them a little bit and you'll be fine. Hope you enjoyed guys. See you.